Strangely difficult. Please, hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. Guardsman Donick. Sir Hawk. It's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. This is for you. It's apparently very important. I'll take you at your word. It's a copper relief of... Marigolds? Ah, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Just keep it. I'm sure it's more than it seems. It would have to be. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do, of varying import. Sir Hawk. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? As one might expect when confused. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Just take this, the patrols, for next week. Post it to the roster and just... listen. Really? Just walk over there and post the roster? I want his honest reaction without the captain present. You could just have him hauled off. This isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. All right, but I'm starting to think you just like having me around. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. Right. Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need... I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. A dowry? You're trying to court him? Something along those lines. Yes. How exactly did you think this mess would work? I don't know what I thought. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. But you were married. And that was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. So you've been by yourself since we came to Kirkwall? I am diligent on behalf of my men. And I've neglected many other things. I can't imagine you having trouble speaking your mind. It's just fear. I know it's foolish, but I can't get away from it. What about you and Isabella? I know she doesn't have two thoughts to rub together, but the danger of your lives must worry you. Maybe we're not the best example. 
But you understand. I feel paralyzed. I hate it. Sounds like you're ready to move on. It's been four years since Wesley. Stop trying to protect me. I've made my peace. You'd want me to live. I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to... it wouldn't help. So go where you're not, captain and guardsman. What? Just go out somewhere? Like it's that easy? What? Too simple? Tell Donick. Invite him to the Hanged Man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Sir Ardonic, are you free? I need to ask you something. I have no immediate patrols. Why? A knight at the Hanged Man for all the guard. You'll come? Of course you'll come. Should I have heard of this? Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll be there. Never good to be the last to hear of these things. Indeed it is, Geralt. Hello, Hawk. Another time? I'm a little busy. How much longer do I have to wait? Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. They killed a lot of good people. They won't kill anyone else, thanks to you. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitt's, wasn't there, was he? No, they were led by Fel Orden. Evitt's is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. He can wait his turn. I won't lose any sleep over it. Maybe nothing will come of it. Thanks again for your help. Good day, Sarah. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Kunari were blameless. Right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishok. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. Keep the worst of them off his back, and it'll be all right. But that is the problem. It has already escalated, despite your efforts. Shame. What happened? 
A Canari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Konari, but it will cost all of us. You're looking well, Sarah. You have information about the missing Konari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. I'm having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Kunari entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. Has anyone reported this to the Kunari? Maker, no. I'd be signing the messenger's death warrant. He'll find out soon enough, of course. And when he does, the Viscount is rightly concerned that the illusion of peace will dissolve. The Arishok is growing violent. He might want an excuse to end this peace. I suspect that if the Arishok wanted to take over, he simply would. For all we fear that heretical cune of his, its demands have done more to keep him in check than any of our efforts. Besides, would Kunari stoop to trickery? There is no precedent, but there is unfortunate evidence of influence on our side. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. You would do nothing. The Kunari are neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. Unless they were involved. Have any failed to report? Several. You should start with one of them. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. A hanged man. Hanged man. Even I know that. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is under enough scrutiny as it is. I wonder if I should try coming back tomorrow?